Oh yeah, I mean like from my point of view, I was making a save on his deflection. I was there sitting in my butterfly and he he ran into my pad, just got me totally off the balance and then put the puck in the net. So if this isn't the goal interference, I don't know I don't know what, what's what's goal interference. Yeah, he just got he just like slowed down quickly. He stayed in the in the corner of the of that zone where I can play it. So I was trying to get back. That was totally my fault, and that's that's on me. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought we created plenty scoring chance to win the hockey game, and I don't think we first period we gave up some odd man rushes, which we don't like to do and we shouldn't do. But um, yeah, I thought after that we limited their scoring chances for the most part, and. Obviously, they get one of the power play, and and then you know the the second one is what it is, and then the third one is we were sitting on the bench thinking it was going to get called back, but um, all in all, it just didn't bounce our our way tonight. You know, even if you look at just the third by itself, there's probably three or four where it feels like the puck is just laying there, and we got a f kind of an open net or at least a you know a half open net, and there's a stick on it, or he makes a great he made some really good saves tonight, so. Um, yeah, that's well, uh, it's about it in my view. I feel like we, we played played good enough to win. It wasn't our best by any stretch, uh, but uh, created enough to win. And, you know. Jordan, you say it's a game tomorrow. Are you following at all the article stolen from the guy that was injured last night? Who isn't? I mean, it's hard to avoid, to be completely honest with you, but, yeah, I mean, Stone's hurt, isn't he? Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to speculate in their injuries and whatnot. I mean, we're excited to go play Vegas. We haven't seen them in a long time, and um, should be a good opportunity for us to go on the road. And we're starting a long road trip here, and um, you know, bounce back on the road. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a big game, and and uh, obviously he hasn't played in a long time, and and you know he's a great player, and and uh, you know he's obviously that's a big move for them, and and uh, you know it's ex I think it's exciting for the game in itself that he's back and healthy. Obviously after you know the situation being what it was there for a bit, and uh, who who nobody knew what was going to happen with the surgery and whatnot, but so I think it's great for the game that he's back and. In a great market like Vegas, so we're excited to go in there and um, you know bounce back. Do you watch any? I'm sorry. Will you be playing tomorrow? So I mean, do you watch like the top four stuff, or do you, is there anything you can pick up? Like, no, I mean, I mean, listen, we're going in to play the Vegas Golden Knights. We're not going in to play Jack Eichel. You know, it's we know he's a superstar in this league. Um, you know, I. I think most of our team knows what he's about as a player and how skilled he is and obviously take away time and space as much as you can. But, you know, we'll prepare for Vegas tomorrow just like we do any other team. I thought there were parts of the game where we that Ottinger saw too much. Yeah, that we didn't make it tough enough on him, even though we were doing some good things away from the net. Uh, as the game went on, I thought we got better. Third period was better. What kind of adjustment did you get on that shot that you made in the third period? Did you see anything like that? Not a lot. Not a lot. Said it was a loose puck. And what did you see from Frank? I saw Pavelski push Frankie's left pad in and then shoot the puck in the open side of the net. We're unanimous in our camp, management, coaches, everyone, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. I'll get an explanation tomorrow probably from Lee. Talking about 47 to 20, overall, what did you need from Frank? I thought, I thought it was all right, yeah. I mean, be, you take the – like, I don't think we did enough around the net to make it difficult enough on Ottinger. Um, five on five, though, I liked their game. I thought it was good. Yeah, no problems with it at all. At the end of the day, we gave him one, right? Frankie 
behind the goal line. We handed them that one. They got a power play goal. One, I think, is goalie interference, and they got an empty net. Um, they won the special teams battle tonight. They, you know, our power play had a lot of good looks. We did some good things. We had some really good chances. Again, probably a little bit more traffic would have helped us on a few of those shots. Um, but we didn't just didn't find a way to beat them tonight. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we've been playing nationally televised games every night, you know what I mean? So it's a big game for us because we lost tonight. You know, that's what it is. It's a good team. We're going to have to play real well. We'll have to get amped up coming out of this one. This one will sting a little bit and we have to get amped up to be ready to play like we did against Tampa. You got to get ready to play going in against the good teams, all teams, really. And we've been doing a good job of that. We'll have to do it again tomorrow. But with Eichel, with Eichel coming back, Stone going on L L C L R uh gap situation if you're gonna be playoff implications for minus this gap. Are you following the end of that very questionable? No. Could care less. That's their team. They do whatever they gotta do. I'm sure they're like Stone's had some back issues. I'm sure they're using this time to get him fully rested and healthy before they go on the stretch run. Well, they all sting, but I can't I can't sit here and say that we played poorly. You know what I mean? So that's a fine line between winning and losing every night. And tonight they made the plays they needed to make and in, in on their power play. We made a couple mistakes, they capitalized. Um we forced them into some mistakes too, but we didn't capitalize on our chances. So I can't say like, well, you know, I didn't like our game. If I if I didn't like our game, I'd be more upset than I am. I always say I'm, I'm not going to judge your team on just results. It's about the process and the way we play. And I thought we did a pretty nice job tonight. I mean, we outshot them 47-20, had a bunch of good looks, didn't score on them. Uh, you had a bit of an unknown coming up in the playoffs. You guys were on the Yeah. Is that something that you can share as a mistake or just Oh, they're mistakes for sure. Like the clear, I don't think he needs to go. He's got time. He can take a stride with it or two and throw it up the middle of the ice. We had guys leaving the zone and he, but it, you know, puck jumps on him a little bit and it goes out. It's a mistake. It's a, you know, it's, it is unlucky. I mean, you clear how many pucks a night and, you know, look to me like they had one too, but it did hit Suter's skate. So, um, you, they, they didn't necessarily force us into that one. That was, a, you know, and same thing with the change. We're coming on uh, the ice with Berkey. Naz stays to play it. It's, it's on both of them. You know, it's not it's not just on, on one guy. They, you know, they, you got to watch your guy all the way to the bench before you jump out. You know what I mean? And both guys are, are trying to do the right thing and ends up being the wrong thing. So, again, it's a mistake, just no different than – it's a game of mistakes, and they capitalize on, on the ones they needed to tonight to get the win. Two times, you won't mention the last game of the year. Not only because of the year, but because of the yeah. last year. What did you do to improve on the first game of the year? So the, f the first one, uh, they went into a completely different set. They went into a spread and then seamed it and seamed it again. Um you know, we're caught out of position a little bit there. Like, we're not in between the guys there. I thought EJ could have been a better spot on the first seam and then even on the one that went back to the net. Um, so we went over it in between periods, but we made the exact same mistake again a couple minutes later. So first one, the coaches will eat it because we hadn't seen it from them. And second one's on those guys, you know, like they get chasing up again and then they go, they send it back down low and beat us in the low three on two. So I'll have to be sharper when it comes to that. All right, thanks. Thank you.